back again. I will continue reading the letter of Bob. Where are we now? So, I will go back to this line. I am not looking for a race of a woman. I am looking for beautiful eyes and face. Eyes that have a twinkle and spark, lips that are sensuous and full, that have the inviting look of, please kiss them. The eyes are ageless, and when the lights are off, that is what you see. All else you touch. In a woman, what do I look for? Mm, she would be happy, hardworking, full of life and laughter, able to be busy and comfortable, relaxing. She would want to help out and at the same time be herself, understanding and kind. Supportive and reliable, soft and sensual, a friend and a lover. Okay, I'm blushing now, but you wanted the truth. You are a beautiful woman, enough said. What is on the inside is also important, but you can be experienced only after time and work. I guess the best answer is this from experience. Canadian women want to have it all but do not want to give anything. It is very often lonely being married. That is not for me. I know what I want and will someday have it. I will think of some questions and email them to you. It will be enjoyable seeing your face reading my letter. If you wish, I can direct you to our web page and you can see more pictures of our lives and loves. Sorry. One further note, as I write this to you, it is Sunday afternoon at 4.50 p.m. And it is Monday morning at 5.50 in Manila. So there is a 13-hour time difference between us. Hmm. So that means you are online at night. It's between 6 and 7 morning here in Canada. I may have to wake up early once in a while. Smiles and hugs for your dimples from cold Canada, Bob Newnham. So, the next email. We know what's about serious of talking uh, more about me and he really wanted to to more about to know more about me so this was the letter look he will call me different names dimples sunshine south sea pearl now sunshine When you read this, and I have thought of you constantly, trying to trying to picture your face beside me in the car, walking through the shopping mall with my hand holding yours, watching you try to walk across the snow for the first time, and your hips moving nicely. Ah. Uh, 
Well, enough about that for a moment. I have attached a picture of Boys Night here in Lindsay. This is Joel and one of his school buddies watching a movie and eating. The dinner tonight is baked ham, chicken rice with small noodles mixed in and peas on the side. Water for those who are thirsty. You can see my little office area in the background, which means this is his office area in the house. Let me continue reading his love letter to me. This is Joel and one of his school buddies watching a movie and eating. The dinner tonight is baked ham, chicken rice with small noodles mixed in, and peas on the side. Water for those who are thirsty. You can see my little office area in the background from where I chat with you so often. It used to be the dining room, but we never used it. So, an office and computer area it became. The curtains are like satin and trimmed with floral earth, to earth tones. This all from Sister Claire as a birthday present from here. So that is what we are up to Canada as you sleep. Sharing time. There is so much that is rattling around my brain right now. So I will try to sort it out in word and words. Most important one is I miss you. You have mentioned about your past two husbands and the last one was being the most hurtful one of all. This I feel deep inside of me. So I will explain why. I was married when Joel's mother became pregnant. I chose this for so many, many wrong reasons such as it is the right thing to do if you get a woman pregnant, then you must marry here. It is your child. You will grow to love her even if you don't right now. Let's go back again. It's the right thing thing to do if you get a woman pregnant then you must marry here it is your child you will grow to love her even if you don't right now she can learn to be a good wife even if she doesn't want to someone needs to marry here and it should be you as you can see now I got married because everyone else thought it was a good idea how wrong I was in taking the advice of others. Friends, family, etc. Esther, Joel's mother, ended up in the hospital because she was mentally unstable, very violent, and had bad depression and needed medicine to allow her to function normally. It was a very scary time for me. Some nights, I had to lock and barricade the bedroom door to keep her away during mental fits of anger. In Canada, if a man raises a hand to a woman, he will be arrested and charged with an assault. So I was not in a very good situation. 
Joel was about 11 months old at this time. When he was 3, he lived with me all the time. Okay, this is where I need to be very open and vulnerable with you. This part is where the fear and pain is. Then the second time, yes, you are reading it, right? The second time I was married was to a woman named Tracy. We had known each other just as friends for many years. About 20 years as friends. Sorry. She invited me to a housewarming party and we were very slowly starting to just spend time together. Over, over about six to nine months, we grew closer. We ended up getting married about one year up after we met at the party. Again, for the wrong reasons. She said that if I did not marry her, she would find someone who would. scared of being alone so I married her after about 18 months of marriage she had spent all of my money all of my inheritance and to be very honest I think I was of no use to her anymore she has a very high paying job that requires her to travel all over the world during these trips she was sleeping with many men. I found out only after strange telephone calls from men and confronting her. Then she told me the truth and had the nerve to blame me for all of it. Look. She was sleeping with many men. from being rejected a second time by a woman or motherly figure. It has been a very long, hard, tough four years. Feel your husband hurtful inside. At times, loneliness has been crushing and almost unbearable. For about 18 months, I just felt sorry for myself and sometimes blame myself for all of it. 
thinking about what could I 